Hey guys, Cam from Barbecue Spit Rotisseries and Flaming Coals. I'm here to answer those questions you may have online and in store. The question we really get asked a lot here is, what is the difference between hot and fast and low and slow? And is there a massive difference uh, to the overall result? I'm here to tell you, no. Essentially, no. I cook hot and fast. I used to cook low and slow, so I'm an advocate um, of, of hot and fast now. So. That being said, it has to be the right cut of meat. That being said, it has to be a certain marble score, say when we're doing beef. I'm never gonna do, especially in an offset, I'm never gonna do something like, you know, a, a Angus brisket hot and fast, because I'm probably not gonna get those results unless the marble score is higher than say four. So it's gotta be a well marbled brisket. Pork shoulders, I run really hot. Chicken, I run really hot ribs I run really hot then when we're talking hot I'm cooking anywhere from 300 to 400 Fahrenheit so that's considered hot and fast the overall result is exactly the same as I would get if I'm cooking low and slow but I get to rest a lot longer and so does the meat so the meat carry over time so I'm resting it for say four to five hours low and slow I might only rest for an hour or two that's where it really comes in. So hot and fast works really, really well. Now, I'm, I'm also an advocate for let the smoker do what the smoker wants to do. You can only control it a little bit. So it's a fire, right? So if we're cooking at 300 and the smoker wants to sit at 350, let it sit at 350. We want it to be 300, you know what? We're just gonna adjust our cook to it. And I find that's what makes a really good pit boss compared to someone who's running around floundering and scared of what's happening. So hopefully this helps you out and you're going to try some point and fast really soon. For more hints and tips, hit us up and we'll speak soon.